A lot has been written about the Vietnam War, but a Boardman man will release his book next week about what life was like on the front lines for him. First News anchor Stan Boney talked with him today, and he's live in the newsroom with the details of the book. His name is Ken Drumboski. He was a lieutenant in the Army. He wrote the book because he has two children who never knew much about what Dad did in the war. Well, now they do. Ordman's Ken Drumboski has a lot of stories about his years in the Vietnam War. Bullets, when they pass your ear, make a crack sound because they're going faster than the speed of sound. You're crack, crack. <laughs> and as he tells the stories, he smiles and laughs. Why? I am so lucky to be here. <laughs> Every day is a blessing. Many of Ken Drumboski's stories can now be found in his new book, Free Fire, 365 Days in the Kill Zone, which will be available next week on Amazon. I want them to know that we drank out of bomb craters laced with Agent Orange, uh, that we ambushed most of the time, uh, that we were used as bait to get the big forces of the North Vietnamese to engage us so that we could put an arc light in on them, a uh, B-52 strike. This was Lieutenant Ken Drumboski of the Army's 1st Air Cavalry Division between August of 68 and August of 69, somewhere deep in the Vietnam jungle. He was drafted at 18 and took command of 32 men at age 20. During his tour, he took pictures with a cheap camera. That's a bomb crater deep as a two-story house. Those were his men lined up along a dirt road. Drumboski was never injured, doesn't have a Purple Heart, even though he tried to get one. And I was so fed up with the war and I'd been in combat for so long that I rolled on my back and held my leg in the air, trying to take a hit just to get out of the jungle. Eventually, he did get out. He did return home. And even that was a story. You're out in the jungle and you're trained to take care of business with people that are shooting at you. And three days later, you're walking the streets of the United States and there was no kind of uh, bringing you down from the experience. Even though Ken Drumboski was never injured, he doesn't hear well, and he's had several forms of cancer because of exposure to Agent Orange, and he also has PTSD. There's also shrapnel in his body, and when he goes through a highly sensitive metal detector, it goes off. Live in the newsroom, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.